Castro por un 53%. Celebrations in the Honduran capital Tegucigalpa. Preliminary results from the National Electoral Council placed opposition candidate Xiomara Castro in the lead. Though a final tally was far from completed, the news was enough to spark celebrations in the streets of the city. For the Honduran people, this represents an awakening, a peace, a hope. The people are overwhelmed by so much wrongdoing and misery over the past 12 years. The people needed to breathe. The people have woken up. Earlier in the day, eager voters queued for their turn at the ballot box. And polling locations extended their closing hours to allow everyone a chance to cast a vote. Many expressed a distrust of the electoral system, citing a disputed general election four years ago when the governing National Party claimed victory despite evidence of fraud. Uh, actually, I uh, feel a little bit nervous because, uh, you know, all the uncertainty that has been going on throughout the elections. Uh, left and right, as always, they're fighting both to, uh, to fight for, the, for power. So I'm actually just, uh, I'm actually quite happy just knowing that I'm coming, even though I'm coming late here to where my opponent poll is. In the late hours on Sunday, opposition leader Xiomara Castro spoke to supporters, claiming victory over National Party candidate Nazri Asfura. We are going to form a government of reconciliation in our country, a government of peace and a government of justice. The 2021 Honduran general election took place under one of the most polarized political environments in recent memory, with many people worried that violence could spill out into the streets. The mood, at least for now, is only that of celebration. Honduran election officials have also said voter turnout is the highest since the 1980s, when the country returned to democratic rule. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Tegucigalpa, Honduras.